Welcome back, explorers. Today is the day that we're going to London. We are technically still at the place that we rented the Airbnb from. The people here are super nice, like scary nice. People shouldn't be this nice. They had other tenants coming in today, so we had to skedaddle, but they let us stay in their living room so that we can still work and stuff since our plane does not take off until nine o'clock tonight. I'm about to call an Uber driver so we can go ahead and get to the airport. Since this will be my first time, our first time ever dealing with customs, I don't know how difficult this is going to be outside of the Canadian border, but border patrol is a little different than customs. Maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm going to figure it out. We can figure it out together. Airport security here is a lot more relaxed than it is in the US. It took a lot longer to get through, but that's only because the lines was ridiculous. They finally opened up a second line and let us go through, but this actual security itself is just like, are you carrying anything you shouldn't? Good, go. <laughs> it was pretty cool. We're here at the terminal three hours early, so we're gonna scope out a decent spot to set up and rest. We made it to the terminal. That's the plane that we're actually getting on. First world problems, unlike the US, None of these seats have electrical outlets. They're on the wall over there, and they're all used up. And unfortunately, my laptop is at 5%, which means I'm not getting any work done for the next three hours like I planned on. That guy was able to find a plug, which enabled me to plug in my laptop and actually get some work done. I've almost got an entire video done and ready to be uploaded so you guys can see it. I also had a cup of coffee because I was dying. That might have been a bad idea. The plane takes off at 9.05 p.m. Eastern time, lands in Gatwick at 9.11 a.m. It's only a seven hour flight, crossing over some time zones, but if I don't sleep on the plane, I'm gonna be miserable tomorrow. I see you in there doing pilot things. Oh, and it would be a full moon. Focus. Please focus. I would say wish us luck, but if you're watching this, we've obviously made it through. So far so good. Found our seats. Now I gotta send, spend seven hours next to that guy. Look at the size of that turbine. Good lord, you could shove a car in there. by Red Bull. Go up to the south terminal. Somewhere around here is a free shuttle that will take us to the train station. If you were wondering why I'm winded, it's because I brought too much shit. This place is quite beautiful, but it didn't take 10 seconds for us to get spotted as tourists. 
I wonder why. Someone has already tried to scam us, so yeah, try to avoid that. Right now, we're trying to find a place to put that crap so that we can actually walk around and enjoy London. We're meeting up with a couple of friends we have here, Georgie and Joel. Georgie is already currently walking around and we're, we're trying to hook up and, and find places. I don't, I don't know, I'll, I'll come back later. As far as I know, we take this one exit, right? The King's Cross, you said? Station is King's Cross Yes. One down, one to go. We met up with Georgie. Oh, what's up? Now we gotta go find Joel. We're off to Waterloo. We finally got everybody. Joel's here. Hi, Joel. Weird. May I present to you Buckingham Palace. With a late start to the day, I can already tell that I'm gonna be upset from the lack of time that I get to spend in this beautiful city. It's fucking great. You can swear on your channel, right? Sure. And I'm it's really great, gonna. It's a great city. I mean, I do the cut. I'm, I'm really gonna miss Joel. Your, your lighting sucks, shots, by the way. You know. This guy wasn't compensating for anything. In true London fashion, apparently it's going to rain. No, I did not stop at a pub. And no. Oh my god, are you the on a whim explorer? Oh I'm my. A big fan. <laughs> Wait, come here. We can be a happy couple. What, what, what do you. What do you. <laughs> what the? I don't remember what I was gonna say now. Yeah. I, was wondering I remember what I was going to say now. Take two. It's a rain mess. It's, it's raining men. It's rain mess. I was gonna talk about me not stopping by the pub and not being slightly inebriated. You went to the pub, you had two pints. Shut up, Joel. <laughs> we were going to go see Big Ben, which is inside of the Elizabeth Tower. No? Big Ben. Big Ben. Um, what's the name of the tower she's in? Wait, he's what's, in hey, Joel. Joel Eliz what's Eliz the name of the tower? Elizabeth. The Elizabeth Tower. It's, it's Big Ben. It's Elizabeth Tower. If they no, change the name. The bell. Elizabeth tower. If they it's change Elizabeth the tower. name. Yeah, no so one cares. Recently. Big Ben's the big bell. Alright, so Ben is the bell and he's inside of Elizabeth. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't honey at all. <laughs> Anyways, look at all these people. Look at the weather. <laughs> this glorious London weather. Yeah, British weather. It's like a really long carriage with a hole in it. Look at that, right? Get out of my face. Oh, look, you've got a nice lens. Ooh, I've got a Leica lens. <laughs> Sadly, Joel and Georgie has left us, but we are about to meet up with Cam, our couch surfing host. He invited us out to a place called Simon's or Simone's Garden. We're gonna go with Simon's King's Crossing for a birthday party. So he's gonna meet us out front so we can drop off our luggage because I learned that I brought way too much of it. And then we're gonna see what this birthday party is all about. What you just experienced was a really sharp cut from going out to a bar with Cam to looking at me.
I'm really terribly sorry about that, but things happened kind of quickly. Lots of drinks may or may not have been involved, and we went home and passed out. <clears throat> John is looking at me very creepily, making me unnerved. going in the video. Not to mention, London is full of stairs. It has its pros, and it certainly has its cons. One of the pros being that when you finally make it home, you're exhausted and ready to pass out, which is exactly what happened. There will likely be more of this narrating going on. I'm pretty sure the second day of London, the video that you'll see tomorrow, was more b-roll footage than I care to admit. It's just that things were happening. <clears throat> it's just that things were happening. God happening, happening. Things were happening. God happening. Is that even a real word? Yeah. Happening. <laughs> happening. 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 <laughs> it's just that things were happening. Things were progressing a lot quicker than anticipated. Dropping off the luggage, meeting up with Joel and Georgie seeing what few things we could see, traveling around London, meeting up with Cam, just way too much happened in way too little time on not anywhere near enough sleep. I think we managed two hours of sleep max on the plane to London, and that's not uninterrupted. It's like, pass out, stewardess walks by, what? <laughs> Tea, cookies, okay. <clears throat> Turbulence! The flight to London was pretty much seven hours of hell. You would think that it'd be a little bit more comfortable. It wasn't, it wasn't, but it got us there and that's the important part. Regardless, I feel like day two in London was probably the same thing. I'm honestly not sure because I haven't actually gone through the footage yet. So if it is, I'm sorry, maybe I'll narrate over some of the footage as it rolls by. But that's all for now, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you liked it, thumbs down it if you hated it. I don't really care. You you might hurt my feelings a little bit. Underneath this big box that you see right here is going to be a description where you can find all kinds of different social media links. Actually, there were pictures of the party that we were at on Snapchat. Pictures and video. Video of John getting decimated in Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh yeah. That was a great birthday party, by the way. Sorry you don't get to see any footage of that. Follow me on Snapchat and maybe next time you will. Below that description box, there is a comment section. Please, engage me. I enjoy that. You talk, I talk back. We can have a dialogue going on. It works great. That's enough for now. I'm thirsty. Later.